Aloha, everybody. Barashan Kiheva here for another Top of the Hour. You know, we had three different ministries that we're supposed to highlight, but I forgot. I'm just so excited because Pastor Wayne is back home. He's back here, back in Honolulu. Welcome home, Pastor Wayne. Yee Good to have you back. Pastor Wayne, it's uh, such a privilege to say a few words to you today and I, I brought Lucy along to say a few words to you too because I know how much you love her and how much she loves you and we're so happy and blessed to have you back and recovering so well. We've been praying for you day and night Pastor Wayne because we love you so much and you're such an encourager to all of us and now it's time that we encourage you and I believe that God has a special purpose for your life and this is a special season for your life. Stanford Medical Center did not need to tell us that you have an enlarged heart but there's thousands of pastors around this globe that know that Wayne Cadero has a huge heart for us. Thank you for your ministry to us and your life to us and I want to go on record as saying all around Lompoc, California we have these bumper stickers Cordero and Ahu, OA. Because last week we voted for you. We sent in our text messages for Wayne Cadero from the Palolo Valley for president. So this is the PP ticket, Portuguese Pake, right here. Hey, Pastor Wayne. First of all, I just wanted to wish you a very happy birthday. And we're so glad that you're back with us. And I'll be honest, um, when you went in for your medical procedure, we weren't worried if you were going to come back, but that you would come back even with more energy than you had before. And since we can barely keep up with you now, we were a little worried about that. You are as vibrant as any person I've ever known, and there's not a one of us in the Foursquare movement. They're not grateful for the influence that you have in our church, across the whole of the Pacific, the Pacific Rim, the impact you have on the body of Christ. And we thank the Lord for that, and we are so thankful for our friendship. Hey, Pastor Wayne, welcome home. So glad you're well, so glad you're home. So grateful. Becky and I and the Shimabu Curls really are grateful that you are well and that your heart's well and that you love Jesus with all of your heart. We are uh, so glad, uh, Pastor Wayne, that you're back. Yeah. And uh, it was uh, just a wonderful coincidence that I could be in the San Francisco area and spend some time with you and Anna before the procedure there at Stanford. And uh, your uh, passion and heart for our church and movement. Uh, several times they tried to come get you for surgery, but you wanted to spend more time talking about the kingdom, and that's so like you. Thank you very much for releasing so many people's dreams, including my own and uh, just so very honored and privileged to be a part of your team. And we look forward to celebrating uh, so many more years of happy birthdays and creative and interesting projects with you in the years to come. Just wanna say thank you from, the, from our entire Ohana, Charlie and I and our family. You have made such an impact because of your faithfulness and obedience in our lives. You just completely opened up an entire new world to the Lord. So we're so grateful, eternally grateful to you for that. Most importantly, I know I'm gonna see my family in heaven because of your obedience. Hey, dear Dad, welcome home. I really missed you and I was really worried about you, but I'm glad you're home and with us now. Um, just wanted to say thank you for all the love and support throughout all the years and for taking me in and raising me up as one of your own. Love you. On behalf of the New Hope family, Please accept this makana, this gift, honoring you. For it is through your leadership and teaching that we have become more than conquerors, in fact, victorious through the blood of Jesus Christ.